This is the last video in a series I've put together about refurbishing this pine box. As you remember, it was just an ordinary pine chest with a um, dark brown stained finish. And we're getting a little bit tired of that and we wanted something more rustic looking. So that's what we've got here. Just to recap, uh, there were some structural repairs I had to do. Um, we've painted this with milk paint rubbed through to create the impression of wear. Inside, I have installed some aromatic cedar. It's surprising how difficult it is to find this stuff. It used to be quite common years ago, but I did find some stuff that I liked, and uh, and it's installed here now. We've, we've got a rustic kind of chain here to hold the lid open. Um, part of the problem with the damage was before was that this came from from the factory from the store with no chain on it so the lid could go too far back and break the wood accordingly um, but that's not going to happen we've also got some hardware on here I wanted to show you a little bit about that before I wind up this series this is some antique hardware that we bought and bought new um, and really all it is is plain steel hardware that's been allowed to rust. I don't think they let it rust naturally. It was probably sprayed with some kind of hydrogen peroxide and vinegar solution to speed the rusting. But the bottom line was that it was rusty enough that, that when you rubbed it, some rust would come off on your fingers. And that's no good. Um, and that's not happening with this hardware because of something I want to show you now. I accidentally forgot to order enough corner straps. So I've got four more corner straps that have uh, that I have yet to treat. And I just wanted to, uh, to show you how all that works so that you might be able to use the technique at your place. So these are the corner brackets I was telling you about, the ones I forgot to order enough of. And as you can see, um, they're nothing, nothing fancy. Um, and they have been rusted in some way. And it, it's rustic looking, but look at my thumb. I mean, rustic is all fine and dandy, but you don't want rust coming off on your stuff. And, um, and that's where some linseed oil comes in. Um, this is uh, boiled linseed oil. And I keep it in this accordion container so I can squeeze out all the air. Uh, because it's it's a reaction with oxygen that causes linseed oil to harden. So if you can exclude the air, then it's going to last forever. In order to do that and have the lid come off, though, you need to put some Vaseline around the mouth of it. Otherwise, the, the linseed oil will harden enough to seal the lid on, and then you're in trouble. But watch what the linseed oil does on this. It um, makes it dark and... Uh, it looks great. It actually looks better, I think, than when it wasn't oiled. But because it's an oil that can react with oxygen, it will form a protective film. And it never peels either. Well, you could try something like this with urethane, but um, I would be concerned that it might not stick and last the way this stuff does. Linseed oil is really a great treatment for certain kinds of metal situations. And so... That's the difference. Uh, darker, a little nicer looking, and it also keeps your, your fingers cleaner. So let's just take one, one more look uh, at the finished trunk in position in the house where it's ultimately going to live. Thanks for watching. Click here to join the thousands of people who get the Bailey Line Road hands-on how-to newsletter for free every Saturday morning.